So you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing. Yep, it's what it looks like. The grain cart is getting hooked up to the Chevy. A neighbor is in need, and yeah. And sometimes I do stupid stuff. Let's get to it. So Jeremy, which is our neighbor, farmer neighbor down the road, uh, he's selling his farm. He's auctioning his farm. So uh, long story short, his grandmother, 94 years, is, you know, in bad health. And Jeremy, he's in the retirement age himself. He doesn't really have anybody to take over the farm, so he decided just to let it go. Uh, with the farm prices nowadays, it's just not worth it for him to keep on trying to make it work, keep on going. So he's decided just to go with the easy life, move down to Florida, move his grandma, his mom down to Flo move his mom down to Florida with him, and. Uh, I completely understand that, but he was expecting to have more time to get his auction set up. So I'm going to go help him get that set up, being he is uh, caring for his mom in the hospital. So you guys are probably wondering, what the heck are you doing? Why are you pulling that with your uh, Chevy? Why don't you just pull it with a tractor? Uh, I plan on putting this in uh, Jeremy's auction. so. Long story short, this grain cart is just a little bit too high for our harvesters, uh, especially for the gleaner and the the case. It's just it sits too high, so it's. I would like to get a lower grain cart just so I don't have to worry about every time I hit a bump in the the road or something. So that is the story with that. I love this grain cart. It's a good old grain cart but it's just not for our operation. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I ended up purchasing a semi from Jeremy, so he is our local neighbor. Uh, we ended up purchasing a few things, but uh, he is known for having a hoshpodge of equipment. All right, so we're here I don't know if I'm going to leave that parked right there, but I figure it's a good starting point. So Jeremy basically wants me to set this all up. Uh, beans, it's kind of a last minute auction. The auctioneers really can't do a lot of it because uh, they're booked out. So they agreed, but said they want the farm set up first. So I'm going to help him set up all the farm. I don't even really, I haven't even really paid attention what Jeremy has for equipment. He is known around this area for having one heck of a setup for his uh, pickups, his trucks. He, he has a lot of nice, I don't, he just likes collecting them, fixing them up. Uh, and he's known for having a hodgepodge of equipment. What I mean by that is Jeremy purchases equipment not by brand loyalty. He purchases equipment when it's uh, cheap, when it's available, and when he needs it. So he really isn't brand loyal. So he's definitely got a few uh, items around here. So I'm thinking, hmm, probably should before we go check, start moving equipment around. So he has, this looks like his tillage slash, he has a spreader there. Yeah, he's got a few disc cultivator. Thinking right here in front of the garage, just so everything's set up. I'm thinking probably we could do this and then maybe set up some tables or something inside the garage. Uh, you know, we could have refreshments because into if it's it's getting hot over here in Missouri. You know, we could put some fans out there. That's how I would do it, so I imagine that's how Jeremy wants it done. So that's what our plan would be. Let's see, what do we have in here? 
This looks like an older Kinsey right here. It's got a 4840 on it. Uh, this one's definitely lower. Ooh, this could be an option. I might have to get a number here. So I think we have, we do have the, the mower right here. So I think I'm gonna pull this Kinsey out, park it over there by my Kinsey. Let's get my truck out of the way. We're definitely not gonna put that on the auction. Move this Kinsey out over there and then probably put this mower maybe on the 4840. Just mow around a little bit. Man, look at all these trucks. Yeah, this Quonset is like completely, or this shed is completely full. Man, he's got, he's got some nice equipment around here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man. Might have to end up bidding on this 4840. I just love the way it sounds. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely lower. I know size matters. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's what she said. But we definitely need a lower grain cart. We this one's way lower. Don't think I'm a, at as big as risk is uh, bending my auger. Definitely got some different uh yeah compaction issues between the two but man that's small yeah i know i know i know that's what she said all right let's try mowing some of this grass down here for old jeremy i know this 4840 is a little bit of overkill for this batwing mower here but oh well I love driving this old girl. Thinking probably just mow this down because we're gonna have to have, I don't think I'm gonna put equipment here, but we're gonna have to have somewhere for all the vehicles to basically park. I don't think they wanna be walking through the big tall grass. Don't want Jeremy getting sued by, you know, somebody getting bit by a snake or something chances of a snake being around is a lot slimmer when they don't have the cover. Man, I guess the rumors are true. He definitely does have some unique. This looks like a deuce. Old army deuce. Look at this old beater. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad thing to have. I mean, looks like the windows are broken out of it. I don't know if it runs or not, but I know these are basically bulletproof, hence why they used them. Is there something? Oh, look at this old thing. This thing has seen its day. You know what they say, Russ never sleeps. Holy cow. Yeah, I could see why he just parked this thing. I would not recommend stacking any vehicles on this old rusty trailer. You know what? Must have ran through a salty state in its lifetime or something. I think we'll probably just mow both these edges here. This, and then I'll put up stakes or something, signs, basically letting people know this where they can park. Definitely don't want people parking around the equipment and everything, so it's harder for people to uh, look around, see them, maybe start them up. Man, Jeremy's just as bad as uh, I am with uh, mowing. Speaking of that, uh, maybe I should uh, possibly think about purchasing this Batwing here. Me, I think I'm going to park it right here, right by his little power box. Yeah, we'll park it right there. We did get it a little bit dirty. Might have to uh, bring over our... Uh, Basically, our trailered uh, pressure washer be good. Pressure off some of this stuff down. So far, it looks like most of the equipment's pretty clean, so we might not have to do too much. All right, looks like we got a brand new John Deere speed disc. Whoo! 
That thing is mint. 40 foot. Ooh, wow. That takes a big tractor to pull that old girl. Got a, what is this, a seven shank ripper? Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like a John Deere 2100 ripper pull type. Yep. That wouldn't be a bad item on the farm. It's kind of like our size. Don't know if I really need it. Uh, if it goes cheap. What do we got over here? We got a uh, MT-685 Delta. Or D. Challenger with a quickie loader. Graffle hook on top. On front. Hmm. Got old Chevy uh, rock box here, dump box. Look at that muffler out the back. Whoo! Purdy. Man, thing kind of looks mint. He's known for his trucks and he keeps them clean, that's for sure. Wow. That is one clean dump box there. What do we have here? Look at this peak. The matching trailer. Whoo! Purdy. That is definitely purdy. Got two peats here. We got a Kenware. Whoo! Wow. What do we got over here? We've got a, uh, a TG uh, 245. A little New Holland. This is probably my favorite looking Holland, New Holland out there. Just I just like the front end of this. Kind of short, stout. You know, the radiator, the lights on it. Always has like this. Let's start getting some of this stuff pulled out over here. All right, we will leave that right there. I did hook up his uh, row cultivator here. Man, that thing, when you're going through that, wow. That looks a little, uh, looks like it will fling some dirt. Wow, and things are sharp. Ow. All right, so whew, we got to get a plan. We got to get a plan. I think I'm gonna line up everything. Uh, maybe a lot of the tractors might put an implement on a few of them. Line them up right here along these doors. So and then uh, line up the back over there and by the bins. Yeah, line up some uh, equipment over there or something. Open up this door. Ooh, wow. Look at this stuff. Man, he does have some cats. Some class. That looks like a class, not a cat. So after they unmerged, or I don't know exactly what they did. Got the S680. Got some case. Yep. I'm talking about a hodgepodge here. He has everything. MT738. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful. It's probably one of the newest tractors he has I've seen so far. All right. Uh, what what are we gonna do here? Well, uh, hmm. I think we'll just start pulling this stuff out, hooking stuff up, placing it in front of the garage. Probably put the harvesters are gonna be high ticket items. So we'll put them kind of up front here. All right, I got all these. So this looks like a 3540. Look at them fat tracks. So this is a trike, something like that. A uh, dry fertilizer spreader, dry spreader. Oh wow, look at this Patriot. Ooh, that's got some big booms on there. Look at all them nozzles on there. Wow, wow, this is definitely different looking. Look, double tired all the way around. Looks like it's a four-wheel drive with a suspension too. Wow. Wow, look at these controls in here. Got a Pro 700 monitor. Yeah, that chrome tank on the back. Looks like the big boy tank. Ooh. This is definitely loaded down for a sprayer. Haven't really drove these, uh, case sprayers that often but man 
wouldn't really I wouldn't mind having this thing. This thing is uh, nice. Yeah, I can't get how uh, mean that thing looks for a sprayer. And then this this uh, S680 man, look at them tires. Wow, them things are fat. Reminds me of an old harvester we had. Whew. Good looking. We have this Kloss uh, 760 right here. Lexion. Man, look at that auger on that thing. Is Wow. That thing is long. Yeah, I almost hit it when I was backing up on this uh, building. I had to go make sure. That has a bright light. Don't look directly in that thing. All right, we need to stop getting distracted and start uh, lining up more of this stuff. Looks like we have another grain cart we need to put over. Look, that has some big floaters on it too. All right, we basically, we finally got, oh, I, I guess I have one. I got a pallet fork, this Toyota, to move out over here. But we finally got this like two-thirds of one shed unloaded. Yeah, it's taken us a little while. We got a uh, the cat. I ended up putting the fertilizer spreader on there. That way they can kind of walk around. I know not the same people are going to purchase both. I mean, the likelihood of that is low. It could happen, but it's low. Well, yeah, I ended up putting this uh, ripper on here. Just so I guess it's kind of, they're kind of together. All the caterpillars. So, challengers, caterpillars. Sorry, probably uh, you guys are probably laughing at me right now. It's it's all right. It's it's pretty easy to laugh at me. Let's just be honest. All right, it's time to fire up these trucks. They're pretty much in my way. I want to get the planters out somehow. So I'll start up all these trucks, getting them warmed up, get the air running in them. It's like I gotta move you out of the way, buddy. Ooh, look at that lever. Boom, boom, boom. Move with me. It is kind of odd how they uh, color code their hydraulics. They definitely pick, pick some unique colors. Let's just say that. But I guess easy to recognize. Hey, Herka to, to purple. All right, that is the Kenworth. Dropped it off. That is definitely a unique green different color green that's for sure i i kind of digging this old kenworth but i don't know if i can live with that uh was it a uh, lime green puke and lime green put together i i don't i don't know the, the actual color name but i do like the truck just needs a little paint let's just say that i mean look inside this thing clean that's for sure. This is one clean looking Kenworth. I just love all the analog gauges right there. Now this is a uniquely painted Wilson trailer. I just love the paint. Ooh, that, look at these uh, fat singles. Single duels. I think that's what they're called. I probably said that wrong. But single duels on that thing too. All right, that's the last Kenzie. Ooh, wow, does he ever have a hosh posh of planters? Wow, does he have some different planters? So almost every single one of these is different, other than brand, of course. And I, I understand they're different colors. I, I get it. I get it. So he has this Kenzie. This is a this is a unique fold up Kenzie. Basically folds up, I believe, by hydraulic cylinder yeah it looks like by hydraulic cylinders that folds up there uh, this looks like it has some type of uh, quick start fertilizer applicator on the front so it'll run that right beside the rows really not for sure he uh, I guess Jeremy said that he was in the process of getting rid of the Kinsey he put this uh, Maximerge early riser. Maximerge is John Deere. Sorry, sorry. I know, I know. You guys are probably all laughing at me. It's okay. Roast me down below. It's okay. 
Looks like a 16 row, that's a 12 row, and then we got a, the big 24 row. Now this thing is definitely unique. Doesn't have any uh, row cleaners on it. Look how this thing has a chain. Uh, cylinders have some issues right there. Just chain row markers there. And it has these huge A girl products, tanks put on the side so this looks like an aftermarket addition onto this planner oh wow four tracks this thing would definitely float a little bit all right so we got all his trucks lined up over there man that he is known for his trucks and we haven't even started looking at his pickups yet let me tell you he definitely has a collection uh, we still have one portion of this building left to what do we got in here? Whoo! Look at these OBS's man. Whoo! Wow! Wow, look at that engine in there What? A Cummins Turbo? Dithel? What? Uh, this might be a nice old truck to have Looks like if you're interested in this truck, you can find it right there. Wow. Look at that. That dash looks clean with the aftermarket radio in there. Wow. Not too excited about that uh, the cloth color in here. Man, you don't get like no leg room in the back seat right there. But whew, got a CB in here. That old Cummins purr. Definitely a unique truck. I just love these old radio antennas. I, I know they look kind of corny at times, but old CBs and things waving back in the wind. It just reminds me of the old days. Looks like this is the Power Stroke Deep So I believe it's a 7.3. Probably might be wrong. You guys have to correct me. Dented cab. Look, very clean inside. Uh, bench seat. Uh, reminds me of the old days. Little stitch shift on the floor right there. Man, there is no. This is definitely a stock interior. Oh man, that sound of that engine. Ooh. Oh man, I'm in love. I know, I'm in love. So we have another Challenger. Man, that guy has some Challengers in this shed. He has the Hustler. Man, woo. That's a we weird green caps it has on here, but look at, wow. Has the run flat or the rubber. I don't know exactly what these are called, but they don't, you don't have to worry about checking your tires for air. Maybe the front ones here, but not the back ones. I'm pretty sure these are just straight rubber tires on front. Ooh, look at this little John Deere, little 1025R. Where the heck did the steering wheel go on it? Oh, is there a steering wheel laying around here? Uh, that might be an issue. How are we going to get this over there? Oh, I don't know. We, we might be too wide to get out of here. Ugh. Wasn't expecting something this wide. I mean, just look how wide this thing is. I mean... Look at the turn radius on here. Wow. That's a lot. I mean, if you get them tanks full and you're swinging around like that, oh, I bet that kind of gives you a little whiplash. All that, that water definitely slosh around a little bit. You guys will have to let me know. Is there anything you think I should bid on that I missed? Do you think would be a good piece of equipment for my farmyard? There's a lot of good equipment here. You have to let me know, little little Johnny right there, the loader. Man, if I could find that steering wheel, that would be a sweet little wheelbarrow. Little Johnny the wheelbarrow. Man, these trucks are gonna be awful hard not to bid on too. Ooh, man, them semis are beautiful. I almost guarantee one of these OBS's I'm gonna go home with. Just gotta happen. Things are beautiful.
Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. This thing really takes a while to spool up. Woo! Wow, listen to that. It sounds just like a jet engine starting up. Oh, wow, let's look at it a little bit closer. Whoa! Wow, that's a lot of wind. Don't forget to like the video.